So let's look at another example. So, so when you have k that's greater than 1, so more products than reactants at equilibrium, you can think about this in terms of higher products at equilibrium. When you have k, sorry, k less than 1, we're going to have lower products. So again, think about k in terms of products over reactants at equilibrium. So if k is greater than 1, there are more products than reactants. If it's less than 1, there'd be less reactants than products. So, oops. Stop. Nope. Yeah, sorry about that. They revised the boards. They used to stop in the correct places, but now you have to be more interactive. All right, so let's look at, at an example of that. Let's look at when k is greater than 1. And I have the equation up there, and I'll write it here as well. So we have 2NO2. In two double, double arrows and two O4. So we have a K value here of 6.84. Uh, so that's greater than one value. So let's think about this reaction. So over here, instead of concentration, we're going to talk about partial pressure because we're talking about gas and we have time. So initially, we have a, our reactant, and the reactant starts at some concentration and decreases, and then reaches a straight line, so reaches equilibrium. So we have our reactant here. Originally, we have no product. And so product is going to go up and be formed, and then it's going to level off as you reach equilibrium. So initially, what is true about uh, Q and K? So with no products, what is true about Q? and K. Q is less than K. And so what's true about delta G? Less than zero. Be negative, so be spontaneous in the forward direction. So you're going to be spontaneous in the forward direction, and you're going to make your product. So now let's calculate what the, uh, what the concentrations are going to be at equilibrium. So initially, so you have your initial pressure for the reaction, 2NO2 going to N2O2. And our initial concentrations are given as one bar. And we have no product. Now we talk about the change as we go toward equilibrium. How much does the reactant change? What do I write here? What change? Minus x minus something x minus 2x. So again, we're considering the stoichiometry. And what's over here? Yeah. So just plus x 
and then at equilibrium, we now have 1 minus 2x and x. So we're talking about equilibrium concentration, so we're talking about k. So k equals 6.84, which is going to be equal to the partial pressure of the product over the partial pressure of the reactant squared. So it's going to be equal to x over 1 minus 2x squared. So x, if you calculate it out, should equal 0.381 bar. And then if we do 1 minus 2 times 0.381 bar, we get 0 0.238 bar. So if we go back over here, our products at equilibrium, oh, I guess I should write what, so x is our product, and this is our reactant. So the product, we have 0 0.381, and our reactant at equilibrium is going to be 0.238 bar, so we have more product than reactant at equilibrium, which is consistent with the value of k being greater than 1. 